What's up guys? I'm Ben and this is Kame Trick. It's the channel that bridges the gap between sim drifting and real life drifting. And welcome back to another video on how to get into sim drifting in Assetto Corsa with mods. This playlist is going to show you everything you need to know to have an awesome sim drifting experience in Assetto Corsa. In the last video, which is linked in the description below as well as the card right here, we talked about how to get Assetto Corsa, the base game, as well as the essential Japanese DLC pack. If you managed to miss it, check that out. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get Content Manager. If you get into sim drifting or modding Assetto Corsa, even for grip, you're going to hear a lot about Content Manager because it is an amazing piece of software. Content Manager is an alternate launcher for Assetto Corsa that has all the same features as the default launcher that comes with Steam. However, it also builds on that to add amazing functionality. It's really better in every way. A couple of examples, you can drag and drop car and track mods and it will automatically install them into the correct locations so that you don't have to do any click throughs and there's no risk that you're gonna mess something up. It also has custom shaders patch, which is an entire uh, weather and visual upgrade for Assetto Corsa that brings it from looking like a dusty several year old title to looking like something really competitive with fairly modern graphics. You're going to get beautiful smoke options like you'd see in Formula Drift. You're going to get sparks flying off the cars, dynamic lighting, uh, night driving, rain effects for in-car view, uh, all the cool videos that you see online that made you get interested in sim drifting, including mine hopefully. Content Manager's Custom Shaders patch was a part of it. Let's jump right into it. We're going to open up a browser, and really it's very simple. Just type in Assetto Corsa Content Manager, and you'll probably be able to go to the very first link, assettocorsa.club. I will include this link in the description as well, uh, although if the site happens to be down, which I hope it never is, you can probably find a copy of Content Manager with a Google search. So it's gonna tell you a little bit about the features of Content Manager, which you can see on your own time, really. I'm trying to keep this video to the point. So your option is to download the light version. Now the light version does lack a couple of features, which they describe right here. Uh, you won't have access to new features, work in progress sections, or pre-release builds. But first you download the light version. So we'll go download directly. You're gonna open up your desktop will just save it right there. Now you can use Content Manager's light version as is for free. However, I highly encourage you to donate to these guys because they have put a massive amount of work into this product and it works very well and it really brings out so much in Assetto Corsa. Uh, and you can unlock the full version by simply transferring any amount of money that you would like to them through either PayPal uh, or Yandex, Yandex, I'm not really familiar with that one. Uh, and even in this tutorial, I'm going to donate to them again because I really appreciate these guys. So you just make your quick donation. And that goes to Alexi Adima. Alexi, thank you so much. I appreciate what you do. Have five bucks. All right, there we go. So we're going to start by installing Content Manager now. So we will minimize this. And it's right here, it's called Latest. You are going to need some sort of zip or RAR program. So uh, you can use WinZip, WinRAR, or you can just Google uh, best zip program or something like that and see what's out there. And there's hardly anything to it. So we're just gonna grab these two by highlighting and drag and drop them onto the desktop. And at that point we're done with this file so we can actually delete it. And now all you really need to do is position Content Manager wherever on your desktop that you want. And we are ready to open up the light version. So I'm going to double click it to open it. And if you installed Assetto Corsa in its default location, you probably don't need to do anything. But here's what we're looking at. You need to tell it where your Assetto Corsa root folder is. If you don't know what the root folder is, watch my last video because I explained that. That's basically where your Assetto Corsa main game files are stored. Uh, you're going to put in your Steam ID if you wish. I like to do that. You'll put in your username and then if you want you can create a start menu shortcut. 
There are a couple of additional plugins here. So like 7-Zip, for example, is one of those archive and unzip programs I was just talking about. Um, I don't use any of these, but if you want to get them, you certainly can. I'll leave it up to you to do some research on that. But it is not necessary in order to enjoy a uh, rad sim drifting experience. So all this is good. We're going to click OK. And now Content Manager is going to open up. Now, uh, let's close it and reopen it because I want you guys to see this. So we'll click. Bam. Look at how fast that is. Way faster than the Steam Launcher for one thing. And basically, if you want to drive right now, then you're going to go in and bind all your stuff. We'll show you that in the next video. But uh, to round out this one, I'm going to show you how to switch to the full version. So you're going to go to your email from which you made that PayPal donation. And when you get to your email, you'll see that Ilya will have emailed you your AC Content Manager app key. This is an automated email, so it should come almost immediately after you make your donation. Uh, mine came within seconds. And so you're going to get a key, which I've blurred out, but you'll get your own for a set of course of Content Manager. And you just copy this. And now we're done with our browser, so we can close it. And we'll come into Content Manager and click on this top right, Switch to Full Version. It's going to ask you to enter your app key. You can paste that in, hit OK. And now the app will be restarted and you will have the full version. So it closes, reopens, and now all the additional features are unlocked. One final tip, I recommend that when Content Manager is open, you come down here to your taskbar and right click it and select Pin to Taskbar. And at this point, whenever you want to play a set of course, you are one click away. I encourage you to leave a like for this video and consider subscribing if it has helped you out. Share it with a friend as well. Let's grow our sim drifting community. And speaking of sim drift community, if you haven't already, check the description for an invite to the Kame Trick Discord where we have sim drifters real life drifters, guys like me who do both. And uh, I hope to see you there. In our next video, we're going to talk about how to set up content manager for your sim drifting hardware, how to bind all of your buttons, everything like that. I'll see you next time. Have a good one, guys. Peace.